Self-control becomes the real pleasure when you deny yourself these simple pleasures in life that you know later on you're going to regret. Have some self-control and you will thank yourself later. Are we using alibis to explain away our lack of success? Are we making excuses? Are we conjuring up uh, conspiracies against ourselves or just blaming things on sheer bad luck to rationalize why we are not getting the success that we desire? To waste your time in battles that you didn't choose is the epitome of stupidity. Technical ability is only a small portion of what you need to succeed. Dale Carnegie was saying that it's only 15% of what you need to succeed. The other 85% is the ability to communicate well with other people, as well as be a leader, as well as to motivate other people. The mirror effect, it plays on people's inherent narcissism. And the fact that we are all narcissistic, we tend to be so involved in ourselves that we're not seeing the signs that other people are giving off. But when you are trying to mirror someone, you are going deep into that person's psyche and soul and the things that motivate them. The mirror effect, you can use it to either infuriate someone or entrance them, depending on what your goals are. The mirror effect. And as always, always ask yourself whether this is in your control or outside of your control. And if it's outside of your control, just let it go. Your efforts are much more better spent focusing on things that are within your control and expanding your sphere of influence.